Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make a model in React.js using hooks. You're going to install anything here. At the first step, let's create a component for our model. Let's call it model hook.js. It's going to be our component of model. Let me do the import and create a div tag. And my model is going to contain an image. Let's go to our public directory. There are some logos here. Let's uh, use them for now as our image and let me export default to the function which is called model hook okay and let's go and wrap this model hook inside our app.js do the import model hook all right let's take a look well uh, it is showing right now but what i want is to have a button so when the button is clicked this model shows up Let's create the button element at first and let me give it some class like btn info, btn large, and simple btn, okay? And uh, the content could be model trigger. All right. So we need an unclick method for our btn for our button that that changes the state of our model. So let's create the state at first. Const like model on and set model on. This is going to help us uh, have a control on our model. And the initial value is false because I don't want it to be showing by default. I want it to be shown after I clicked on the button. Okay. Let's uh, cre create the unclick field. It's going to be a method. And this error function will set the model on to true. All right. If I go and check on my browser and refresh, as you can see, it's not working because I need to pass this model on to my model hook function. So let's add a prop here, like open model, and create a condition here. So whenever open model is false, uh, this component will not return anything. So if it's equal to false, let's return null, unless we will return the model content, okay? And the other thing is to pass this uh, set model on as a prop to our model hook tag. Like this, model on, okay? And now let's take a look. As you can see, it's not showing. And if I click on it, it shows. And the other thing that we need is a closing button. Let's go to our model hook and add a paragraph tag here. This paragraph tag uh, has a class name of close tag. And the content is simply close. All right. And we also need another prop here, like close model and set these to unclick method of our close tag. And it's going to be actually a function that inside our app.js, I'm going to pass the function as a prop. All right, close model is equal to an error function, uh, which sets the model on to false. False, all right. And that's all. Okay, now uh, if I click on close, yeah, model doesn't show anymore. Okay, our model is uh, almost complete, but uh, let's add some styling. Let me add my style sheet to model hook, which is index.css. It's right here. Let me get rid of everything here at first let's at first give some class name to our model container let's call it model container simply and then go to our index.css and select this model container uh, sorry model content okay and set the position to fixed and uh, transform translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent and 30% from top and 50% from left. 
okay and as you can see it's in the center the next thing we need is a box shadow so it's more like a model three zeros and alpha is 0.8 okay all right let me import the style sheet inside after js as well and uh, let's add our close tag here cursor pointer and then btn class I want it to be in the center, so I will just copy this part of style here. I want to uh, select the image here to style it. This is going, going to be the last step almost. Set the width to 90%. Display block and margin to auto. Let's set the width of model content to 30% to 30%. but right now my background color is black and the model looks like this and if I just change it to white by removing this the model looks like this that's all thanks for watching